and then all of us shall go down to have uh, our meal tonight. Uh, Baba, if you're ready, I'm ready. Thank you. Uh, Sophie, uh, democracy, social justice, and accountability, what you call good governance in the continent of Africa. As you know, there are challenges. Africa is not uniform. There are countries which are much advanced at different stages. There are those which are still emerging. The others which are still under uh, dictatorships and even military rules, as you know. Uh, so it is not a uniform thing, but the, you know that AU had passed a resolution to silence the guns by 2020. That was basically just a wishful thinking. Because so, you know guns are still very much allowed. You go to the Sudan, you go to Somalia, you go to many places, guns are still very much there. What we want to do is first to ensure that these conflicts which are within the continent are resolved. There is a fund called the African Peace Fund, but not much has been put into that fund. When I go there, I want to ensure that African that Peace Fund is increased and that we have also a standing force that will help to enforce peace within the continent. Uh, secondly, of course we have a standard of good governance. And uh, this standard, just like the European Union, first does what they call due diligence for a country to qualify to become a member of the European Union. This uh, is, is something that needs to be done even within Africa, so that you have a common standard that all these countries are aspiring to achieve, so that there is uh, what you call freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and also there's social justice within these countries, and you deal with issues of accountability. Because without this being there, there can be no development. You can have all the good plans, but if you don't have a proper institutions and proper structures within the country, there will be a problem. There is a, 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 what you would call, there is a, a, a reform committee which has been set up. This and here, uh, I think I'm going to deal with the, 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 the let me deal with the second question of Eva. The, the EU plan to raise the youth. I've already talked generally about the potential of the youth in the continent. And I've, I've said that uh, we need to empower the youth by first imparting knowledge and uh, um, technology on the youth so that the youth are properly empowered uh, to uh, be able to realize their potential. Now, there are different, different governments have got different programs. So they want to agree on a template that's continental wide and we we'll be doing peer review of these African countries to ensure that they conform to the minimum standards that have been set by the African Union. Finally, uh, George, on the implementation of policies. First, you need to know that currently there is a disconnect between the Secretariat and the, the Union, because a lot of resolutions which are passed by the summit of head of states are, do, are not implemented. I was talking to the current chairman 
who is actually complaining that majority of resolutions passed by the head of state never see the light of the day, they're never implemented. I want to, uh, right now there is a, 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 a committee on reform of the AU. This committee has been chaired uh, by President Kagame of, of, of uh, Rwanda. But now this chair has actually passed on to Kenya, the Kenyan president. I believe that this committee will come up with the proper reforms that will ensure that African Union structure is brought almost in conformity with that of the European Union. And that will make it much easier to ensure that resolutions that are passed by various organs of AU actually are implemented fully. This is what I intend to do. And that will make AU a much more efficient and effective institution. Thank you. Hello. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency. Uh, we, we are grateful. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And once again, my name is Ambassador Thomas Kwaka Omoro, also known as Big Ted. I'm the immediate former consul 